Hello, so this is a quick video to just see the effect and the benefits of retransmissions in a video digital system. So what we have here it's a Rancam air unit with a small Cadix gimbal and we have a controller where we will use to to tweak the radio link and enable disable retransmissions and see what the effect it is so let me turn everything on and let's have a look okay so i started everything the controller and here we have the drone running so right now everything is working fine we are on a frequency that we don't have a lot of noise so since uh, cannot really fly far away 10 10 kilometers or so we will just switch to a frequency that we know it's very noisy in this area what we will be looking at are those graphs let me make them a little bit bigger and in decrease transparency okay so in the upper graph we see the radio link data where you see red lines or dots it's missing data and on the bottom graph you see the actual video stream and uh, what's white it's normal video data no issues what's green it's error correction happening so video stream does contain a little bit of error correction so when you see green it means that error correction was used to keep the stream without breakups and when you will see <coughs> blue those are retransmitted video data packets so right now we are on 5805 megahertz so the link is quite good so right now let's try to switch to a frequency that we know it's problematic here so it's around 5600 we start to have issues Okay, the link is still good. Let's move it down a little bit. Okay, so here on uh, 56, 60 megahertz, you see that a lot of error correction and also retransmissions do happen, and the video feed is still usable without visible breakups. So to see the actual benefit of retransmissions we need to disable them so let's go to retransmission and actually turn them off as you can see here basically error correction it's trying as hard as it can to reconstruct the data but as you can see the video is very big so let's change the frequency a little bit a little bit so maybe a little bit upper okay so here error correction it's enough to do the job but again if you fly very far away where you start to have a lot of noise or interferences the error correction it's not enough so again if you enable retransmissions those will start to recover the data so you can clearly see that retransmissions are happening when it's needed and again the video streams stay with stays without breakups uh, what are the drawbacks of retransmissions of course latency uh, right now the latency on this rabi fpv system it's about three milliseconds for the entire round trip so it's processing the message sending it to the radio receiving it processing it again and sending a reply back of course the actual radio transmission it's instantaneous let me stop this one or just arm it a little bit ok 
کنیکٹ نیست بود Okay, so as I was saying, uh, of course, the radio transmission is instantaneous, but due to the processing power of this one, it's a Raspberry Pi. And here on the drone, we have a Runcam Air unit, which is a dual core, one gigahertz. So due to processing power, it takes a little bit of time to actually figure out what needs to be retransmitted to receive the data to process it and to send it back to the radio so again the draw drawback it's the increased latency but i would say for vast majority of people three to five milliseconds additional delay it's not a big deal so yeah so that's what the transmissions looks like and what's the benefit of them. Thank you.